For the civilian population inside Gaza, a terrifying new threat is becoming a deadly reality. The United Nations says about a quarter of people living in the besieged territory on the verge of famine. We have an obligation as human beings to take care of the most vulnerable, and those are children for God's sake. Gaza's health ministry reports at least 20 people have died from malnutrition and dehydration since the war began, most of them children. Three-year-old Mila, who had been suffering from acute malnutrition, is now one of the latest, youngest victims. As the White House announces new steps to establish a port in Gaza for life-saving humanitarian aid, a U.N. official underscores the need to prioritize food coming in by road first. Any kind of maritime corridor would be good, but I think we have to be clear that um, roads are going to be the only solution for the amount and acuteness of hunger that we now have, especially in North Gaza. Israel insists there's, quote, no limit on the amount of aid that can enter Gaza. But aid groups and government officials says Israel has repeatedly obstructed critical supplies from reaching the territory. Supplies are bottlenecked and families, children especially, can't wait much longer. I'm Mike Valerio reporting.